Hey everyone! This is part 2 of making the fruits basket zodiacs. So I use model magic to create this shape of a kinda half hard boiling egg. And I'm shaping the front side to make the face pop out more like this. I outline the face with the end of my paintbrush. Now I am going to do the horns. I rolled two pieces into a ball and shaping them like teardrops. Pulling the top point and kind of rolling to make horns. Try to make both horns the same size. And bam! I'm done modeling and let it dry. I made a tail on the back. Off camera, I did the snake. <laughs> I roll a piece of model magic to kind of thin to a bit thick for the head. Make it look like a poop emoji. Which my sister thought it, I was making it. Like what? Poop? I grab a piece of clay forming into an egg. And I remove a few pieces and squish a bit down to make a round ball kind of way which took me long not gonna lie i'm making the ears for the monkey zodiac and by rolling two small balls and flatten a bit and shaping like ears let's put it together and i use the end of a paintbrush to outline the face I'm doing this while watching Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Woo, I haven't watched Scooby-Doo in a long bit. Next, I am doing the boar, Kagura, and pinching and shaping it with my fingers and smoothing it out. Now I am going to do the tusk for this pig. So I get two tiny pieces, same size, and rolling down a bit like a tiny teardrop. And I also add an extra triangle piece for the snout. I put it together off camera. Next, I am making the horse zodiac and add a tail and let it dry so it's easier for me to make the head. Rolling a ball and shaping it for the rooster. I took a break but I finished the rooster off camera so yeah. And I was eating spaghetti and showing the Christmas decoration on the table because it looks so pretty okay now it's time to paint so I painted the snake Ayame with blue pastel paint painting the monkey Ritsu with a cinnamon paint painting the boar Kagura don't forget the monkey Ritsu Woo! Finish their main color. <laughs> I was gonna say character. Now I am going to color the details. Pink for the snout. Kind of light cream paint. Cinnamon color for the horns. I put a piece of model magic to make the head for the horse, which was pretty easy to do. I roll a thin clay and cut it into a rectangle to make a saddle and I add the lines. I also add a small piece for the hair slash mane and it looks so cool. One of my favorites I make for sure. I started painting it. I have a dotted tool and use the small round end and dip it into the brown paint to draw eyes and I'm showing examples how I do it. For the monkey, I like drag it a bit down to make oval eyes and I use a dry up thin paint brush to draw the mouth. You can use toothpicks too or a bobby pin. I draw these line details to make it look like it has texture. 
All right, so I'm gonna paint cold with Mod Podge matte to have a finished look. So I'm gonna scrape, so I'm gonna put some in my palette. I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna dip it on the Mod Podge and then I'm just going to paint on it. <laughs> Not paint. <laughs> Glazing on them. Make sure it's a pretty nice, um, not too, th like, a thin coat. Da, 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 da. Chicken is getting coated. Not roasted. <laughs> Cause you'll be dead. Coming in painting. <laughs> not paint. Glazing the beak. Okay, so I have to let it dry and then I have to paint in the bottom more. Next, we're gonna code the monkey. I actually really like the face. It's it's so cute. Painting the face. Coded the face. I need to stop saying that. Well guess I guess it is still painting. You know. And Invisible white, you know, and that one. Okay, so I'm gonna let it dry. Next, we're gonna paint the sheep or lamp. I don't know how you say it. Is it a sheep? Some, this is like hero, if you didn't know. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's safe. scared to paint the other one so I'm just gonna move move this to the side what do I do like my teal bracelet uh -huh. I made it oh I can actually make this a video if I want yeah I don't know next we're gonna paint Kagura the boar zodiac I really like how Kagura looks like she's so cute I love pigs. I just realized I forgot to put the... Um, is it called horns? No. No, it's not horns. The thing. I forgot what it's called. I, I'm gonna glue it later on. I'm gonna set this aside. Next is Rin, the horse zodiac. This was actually pretty fun to um, make her though. I had to make the body first, and then I had to sculpt, and then I let it dry to do the head. And then I add ears, add the tail, and add the saddle on. Saddle on. And it looks pretty cool. Also, I put on the hair. Bonus! So, I made this cake. I first started um, shaping it like a triangle, you know, a triangle, and then I put like the, a strawberry first, and then put this, like I rolled it up to make it look like um, whipped cream, yep, and here's a smaller piece. Then when it was like kinda dried, I put um, lines, so I could put like the details on, also on the strawberry make holes and i draw a list this is gonna be strawberry strawberry and cream you know if you don't know what is this from it's from death note um l likes to eat desserts and sweets he eats this specific cake and i made this for my sister for her birthday all right so i'm gonna paint the strawberry Putting in the creases. Yep. Now I'm gonna paint the strawberries from the inside.
<laughs> okay, here we go. It looks wow. I'm gonna add a second coat. Ta da! There they all are. Yay, I finished them. And they turned out so cute. I love them. I noticed they are almost all have neutral colors, except for the snake, of course. I enjoy making these, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And that will be the final part, which is part three. Stay tuned. Bye!